in the previous video we discussed extensively the poem the grief land of africa we discuss the analysis of the stanzas analysis of the poem stanza by stanza so if you haven't watched that video before uh, you can also search for it in this channel you will find it and uh, today we are going to be concentrating on the themes and the poetic devices used in the poem um, before then i will briefly summarize the poem for you again in case you haven't watched the first video but it is advisable you 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 look for it just scroll through the videos in the channel you will get the video of the where i explain in detail all the stanzas of the poem so this poem the grief land of africa is a poem written by augustine honeto a poem that portrayed the situations in africa how the Africans were enslaved in their own land, how they suffer a lot in the hand of the colonial masters. Now, uh, the poem was written in Portuguese because it was written by Anna, somebody from Angola, Augusto Honeto, is a political figure in Angola during the colonial reign, and then he was one of the voices that was against colonialism, and he was put in prison several times. A time he even ran out of Africa to the to the United Kingdom, and later he returned. He was in prison, charged for treason several times, and later he became the first president of Angola, and then he ruled his people. Uh, effectively, not like the modern African leaders, and uh, he lived from 1922 to 1979. And um, this image is just to portray how the Africans were enslaved, and this is a picture of slavery at that time during the colonial period, transatlantic slave how the Africans were subjected to inhuman treatment and slavery, and also. Uh, as I said earlier, we have discussed the poem stanza by stanza before, and uh, look at the first stanza. It's also talk about the experience of the Africans in the way the Africans were subjected to tearful wars. You can pause the video to read the summary and analysis, and also you can watch the previous video to make sure you have detailed explanation. As I said earlier, we will be concentrating on the themes and the poetic devices today. So. Um, another, uh, uh, this is modern slavery in Africa. The according to the poem, even the use of uh, Mastercard, Western money transfer, Western Union, and or even the borrowing, in African countries borrowing uh, millions of dollars from the United States or any other country, China or International Monetary Fund, an act of slavery according to the poem. And now see this stanza too also. The Cleveland also continue the uh, experience of the Africans. We are also more in analyze here and um, why the land, uh, who was a very good land, uh, infamous and popular, became very, very uh, a, a, a place that is set on fire or destroyed by iron and fire. That is modernization. Okay, this is also another ancient and the modern slavery. Look at the ancient slavery on the left side, side, and then look at the modern slavery where somebody wore a Mastercard and soda. So this is a pictorial evidence of uh, the this thing. Now this is stanza four. Also, if you can pause the video, read it carefully. Um, where is so we we'll get to the themes which are. Uh, this is stanza okay oh, we'll look at this stanza five also which also talks about um even the corpses of africans who were taken as slave from nigeria from any other african country at that time to the european countries and some of them die along the way the transatlantic uh, um, slavery how they were being ferried from africa to the european country some died along the road and their body were being thrown up in the sea you know when somebody died and then the person maybe 
the stomach will become filled with water, the person will begin to float on the surface of the water. That was what happened. Then look at Charles and Sis also. Charles and Sis also talk about how the Africans survived the colonial invasion despite the inhumanity, the cruelty, the dehumanization experience. Africans were able to endure and suffered and see and uh, and uh, um, and endure it the a day of uh, victory and uh, independence. Now this is chapter seven of the poem, which also continues to talk about uh, how some of the Africans were dying, and the uh, Africans, the land of Africa, is not dead because the Africans also are not dead. So and uh, the poem also describes the Africans as uh, imperishable. Okay. Um. Now this is also you can pause this and uh, do a little assignment on this you can answer any one of this question and then you can post your answer on the comment section i'm going to comment on it so let's go to the teams okay let's go to the team so this is uh the beginning of lesson two now carefully look at teams the background of the poem as uh, we have discussed before look at the background of the poem I have told you he is once a president of Angola, then he is a political uh, figure in the uh, in Angola and even in Africa at large at that time. Now let's look at the themes in the poem. The grave land of Africa. You can see this image shows the freedom of uh, Africa or the expected freedom at that time. Now look at this carefully. We have about four teams here. We have team of slavery, which is both ancient slavery and modern slavery, colonial exploitation, the doggedness of African dream and hope, and then the team of living. Now the team of slavery is of two types. The first one is the ancient slavery. We hear some Africans we are taking from African continent to the Western countries, to the European countries, and they suffer a lot of uh, mad dehumanization and maltreatment. Some of them died along the way. Some of them died while working in the plant in the um, sugarcane plantation or some of them died even beaten to death or lynch at that time. So the racism at that time was very very severe and then what are the modern slavery we are in africa we see that in the modern time even china has almost bought african continent or several countries are indebted to china so this is one of the a modern slavery that um uh, augustine honetto was talking about and also the bond borrowing money from IMF, the use of a Western money system, which are this MasterCard, the use of money transfer, all these are regarded as modern slavery by the poem. So the way we depend on West, on, on the West, either for our clothing, either for our, our design of shelter, the modern building, and all those forms are regarded as modern slavery by the poem. So Africans, and even the way we wish to go there, before they were forcing the Africans to go as slave, now the Africans are willing to go as modern slave, killing on embassies, making sure to try to secure, to get visa to travel out of African continent, to go to one of these European countries. That is also another form of a modern slavery. Now look at the team of colonialism and team of colonial exploitation. Colonial exploitation is not a new thing to almost every African who have at least grown to a certain uh, age because the African were severely exploited by the colonialists. And note that it is not only in, Port, in, Port, in Angola and it's not only, in Port, not only the Portuguese that exploited Africa, the French exploited Africa, the British Empire or the British colonial system also was another form of exploitation of Africa. So as the European countries partitioned Africa to different countries and then they took hold of African continent at that time, some in West Africa, in North Africa, in East Africa, in Southern Africa. So at that time, several African countries experienced a lot of dehumanization. Our natural resources were taken away. Our land were, were, were taken by force. 
And at that time, several Africans experienced a lot of dehumanization. Now, even the poet Augustin Renato was subjected to a lot of uh, exploitation. So, colonial exploitation is not only the exploitation of the land, but even exploitation of uh, individuals, personalities, and uh, freedom. Then, uh, the, 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 the black were not even given any form of freedom or rights. Because everything they were, being, they were doing there, they have to do it in accordance to the expectation and the command of the colonial masters. Okay. So, Africa we exploited, land we are forcefully taking, modernization setting, colonial African culture we are destroyed at that time. So, it was a severe experience by most of the Africans at that time who were living, some of them who were against colonial rule. We are killed, we are put in prison, we are dealt with. Some ran away from their countries or for their or their homeland to another part of Africa or to even outside Africa because this because of the severity of the colonial exploitation. So land we are seized and the gift of nature in the land we are taking away. And that was one of the reasons why the land was angry, the grief land of Africa. Okay. Now, look at the doggedness of African dreams and hope. It was the doggedness of the African dreams and hope that led to independence of many African countries. Because if the Africans were not determined at that time and not hoping to get freedom despite the experience, the unpleasant colonial experiences, it would have been difficult for the Africans to get independence at the time when they got independence. Countries like Ghana got independence earlier, and then Nigeria and some countries in the Southern Africa also. In fact, South Africa was one of the countries that the colonial masters never wanted to let go. It was a collective effort of other African countries that even salvaged the apartheid regime in South Africa. So, and not only in South Africa, even in the entire Southern Africa, it was also a horrible experience. And countries like Kenya, there was a lot of fights. Uh, if you have read Petals of Blood by Ungiwan Tiogo, uh, you or a grain of wheat by Ungiwan Tiogo, uh, you will also see a little about the colonial experiences of the people. And uh, um, Uhuru was not given on the platter of gold. So the Africans were talking, they were determined in this power to see their dream and hope come alive, come true. And that was why even when they were being forced, they were being dealt with, they were being beaten by the colonialists, they never give up their land, they never give up their hope, they never give up the dream of having an independent African continent. Giving, they never give up having a safe rule government. And that was why even the poet who wrote this poem was elected as the first president of Angola. The poem was translated from a, a Portuguese language to uh, English. And now we see that uh, the stifling of the Africans and uh, several other things that we had done to the Africa did not deter them. Africans were determined and at the end of it, they got the independence. And the poet also lament that after the independence, some African countries are still being controlled by the West. Why? Because we, because of the modern slavery. Because several African countries depend on the on the West for their for the economic development of the country, for manpower, for even system of government. And that was why the poet lament that despite the ancient slavery that we have gotten freedom from, we have entered another modern slavery, which can also be referred to as neo-colonialism. Now, look at another theme of living. The poet also argued that Africans are still living despite the problems despite the exploitation, despite the degradation. So we see it in stanza four. The first word is alive. The word alive is also found in stanza two, uh, in the uh, line two of stanza four. 
Why? Because the Africans are still alive. They did not die. Which was the wish of the colonial masters. An attempt to wipe out the Africans so that the land can be taken from the Africans. But we see that the Africans were alive. Though many of them have died in the course of a struggle for freedom. But many are still alive. And even the land of Africa is still alive. And then the hope is coming. The dream of independent country, independent continent is at the corner. So that is why the bubble up in the dream as written in line 19. Africa still exists in the perpetual alliance of everything that lives. In line 22, you can see that also. And not only are they breathing, they shout out the sound of life and shout it out. Why do they shout out the sound of life? Because they are hoping for a better tomorrow. They are hoping that Africa is going to be independent soon. And they are hoping that Angola also is going to be independent. And the entire African continent will be independent, devoid of Western influence and control. Okay. So now look at this. See number five. Africa as a land of grief. Yes, this is one of the dominant themes in the poem. Why is Africa a land of grief? Because of the situations we found ourselves. Because the Africans were being caged. And the land became a land of grief because the land also was crying. Because of the original inhabitants of the land we were maltreated. So we see that individuals we are dealt with. Some were thrown into jail, some were killed, some were stifled. So, and that was why several people have a repressed laughter, which the poem referred to as stifled like laughter in line 14. Now, the land was grieved because the land was being destroyed, mining was taking place, which was not benefiting the original owner of the land, and also the natural gift of the land will be taken away to European country. So, things that should be of benefit to Africans will be taken away by those who came as a colonialist. So, that made the land to be very grieved. Now, these are some are the five assign, uh, five themes that uh, uh, we that are dominant in the poem. Now, look at an assignment. I want you to do one of these assignments also and then post it in the comment section i'm going to comment on it and also grade it for you okay and then from there we can discuss further discuss more ah uh, the video for the poetic devices will be next one because already we are almost 18 minutes now to this video and then i don't want the video to be too long for you so this um the poetic devices will be in another video okay thank you very much make sure you subscribe to the channel click the notification bell so that you will be notified when the new video is uploaded thank you and have a great time